And welcome to the Blood Folks, it's the mother fluffing butt house, and we're back, baby. It's episode motherfucking twelve up in his bitch. Ooh, and we were house. just we were just listening to the goddamn Fresh Breeze Dope Boys, a Polish rap group, with their song Butt House, or as they say, Butt House. Butt House. The Butt House. The Butt House. The Butt. <laughs> yeah, that part's <laughs> sick, bro. It's so sick. So uh, I know one of those dudes. I guess maybe both of them, but one of them, I know we've had a little bit of rapport on the Instagram. He followed me for years now, I think. And uh, I didn't even, I think, I don't even realize he rapped, I guess. I don't know. I think he's like a f- popular streamer or, or something over in Polish. Polish Over land. in Polish. Dude. Over in Polish. But uh, no, nah, it's a fucking honor, dude. The video is sick. We're going to play the full video at the end of the of the episode. But Hell yeah. Just for the... Uh, our stupid American people trying to listen to it might be like, what's this Polish gobbledygook, man? Speak American, you know? But <laughs> but it's going to play at the end. I like it. I'm fucking hyped on this shit, Yeah, dude. shout out to those fellas. That's crazy. Shout out to those I boys. Would, I was pleasantly surprised when I woke up and saw that. I was like, dude, this is fucking sweet. So fucking sick. And so I, I asked the one dude, um, motherfucking Jason White. Uh, <laughs> I asked Jason... On on Instagram, it's at uh, at T R I T S U S Tritsus at Tritsus. But I asked him, I'm like, dude, what are you guys saying? Because uh, I'm a fucking idiot. I, I don't understand any other language. But he translated it for me, and he says, I mean, should I just read the whole lyrics? Play play a short section of the video so they can they can feel those vibes. Or okay. Maybe just edit it in here. Yeah. That's true. Well, what the fuck? Hold on. <coughs> Here, I'll just I will play a a, a a segment of it. Let me let me pull it up on YouTube. Speak, say something quick, Dan. Oh shit! I saw a gangster mailman just now in the liquor store, <laughs> and it was pretty sick. He was in full regalia. He was on the phone with some woman and being like, "Bitch, you should have woke up when I called you." And uh, she was like, "I took a nap." He he really hated that she took a nap. I was trying not to laugh because I didn't want to get it on the business end of this guy's uh, anger. Oh, shout out Cat in the Pod. Cat mm-hmm. Pod. I, th- I cleaned up his throw up What's today. What's up, dude? Cats Cats are always I throwing cleaned up. up his litter box. That's how you know I'm a good roommate, dude. Anyways, love you, Rob. Mitty's a little badass, dude. Love he's Mitty a real too. bad cat. Dude, dude bitch, don't say he's dude. a fat ass. He's a real bad boy. There's Reason only one like bad dude. He's a baddie. There's only right. one for so one fat. <laughs> Sick fucking beat. Shit is fire. I got I gotta know what the New York part is. Live in New York. Dude, so sick. Okay, so he says Every new song is in a new st- every new song is in a new style. Always a fresh sound because fuck same drill. Fuck some drill. I remain true like Jarv. I has such good flow. I'm spitting like I was in New York. I like spitting, mixing, and not only. If you like it, say it. Don't fake it, honey. <laughs> I'm a punk, but I do old school rap. There's also a hint of new school just like that. Jason and I will collect the pieces together. <laughs> we will destroy the stage and release an album without money. There is <laughs> this is like a manifesto, dude. <laughs> what? There is plenty of time to make and smoke swabs. I wonder what swabs are. If you want to be crazy, just raise it without any sensible <laughs> underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in my city already knows me. They gave to you and your loved ones from the street to the capital. Hell yeah. Assault, assault. We're doing it with style. Get out, get out. I don't like you anyway. He doesn't seem to like it. And you follow every move. 
It's not very easy. I'm as fast as an ostrich. <laughs> Wait, Ethan, do a beatbox. I'll try to rap it to the beat. Do it in American voice. Oh, come on, Because I still on, dude. can't really understand what you're saying. Oh, <laughs> dude. I'm too too nice with it. All right. Uh, do like a beat. Like their beat was like... Something like that, you know? Oh. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Assault, assault. I'm doing this on the mic. Oh, I can't even... Hold on, wait. Restart. <laughs> assault, assault. I'm doing on this mic. Get out, get out. You are a loser. Dude, I'm in a rush, and it doesn't stop. Pogo on a party. The whole crowd's already spinning. Now all hands up. I don't want to hear your constant excuses. Butt house, butt house. <laughs> wait. But... <laughs> Uh, bot house, bot house, not any trap house. My friends and I are constantly in a heavy trance. Like Jason, a heavy guy says that the barrels are missile missing. Fuck, I can't read. I don't want to tie myself up. I wear vans without laces. Uh. New verse. I would like to freestyle with my homies every day. Do a podcast and beatbox daily. Polishes, polishes or polishes, polishes style like your shorty gun. All right. Um, this is crazy, but anyways, I think it's getting lost in translation, folks. But it rhymes in their language, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, and it definitely it. makes sense in theirs. But <laughs> there's parts that I was, I'm like, "What does this mean?" I was wondering that, like, as we were like amping up to do this, I'm like, "Man, if I were to like try to do a rap in a foreign language, it would be so difficult mm -hmm. because the rhyming words are entirely different. So I I would have a lot of trouble trying to find." Correct words and like storyline and having things make sense. You know why else it would be very difficult? Because you don't speak any other language. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> no, I'm saying <laughs> that it would be very difficult. It to wouldn't be difficult out. if you knew another language, though. It would be difficult because you don't well, know words kind of in another point, language. Yeah. That's kind of the I know, point. but you're saying like, <laughs> with the first you're taking a <laughs> roundabout way of being like, you know, it'd be really hard for me to do a rap in another language because the words are different. It's like, yeah, or you could just say it's, it would be hard because you don't speak another language. Well, I'm trying to say that if I wanted to say, yo, I'm on the team and my team is green, it would not work. It would not translate in the same because their rhyming patterns are different in their language. This makes sense, no? This is exactly what happens behind the scenes, too, folks. <laughs> no, it makes sense, sort of. But it, it, it does. I mean, dude, it does make sense. But it's like, it's just, that's like an obvious thing. But, you, but if you knew the other language, you wouldn't, your wires wouldn't get crossed like that because you wouldn't be trying to say, I got a team and my team is green. Because you would be, know the other words and you, that would, thought wouldn't even occur to you to like translate it so uh, like exact to English. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, no, of course. But I'm saying for me, it would be hard. I think the. For you, it would be hard because you don't obvious. know another language. Yes. Which I is what I that's obvious. Yeah. Yeah, it could have been summed up with that sentence, <laughs> which is a decent point. No, but, but that's like there are Spanish rappers obvious. who are nasty. It, obviously, they're not like, how do I say the team is green? It sucks that <laughs> no, that doesn't rhyme in Spanish. How am I going to make a rap? They say verde, and then I say, shut the fuck up. You're the gay. <laughs> Speak America. Uh, you guys are you, also arguing team and green don't. Really rhyme, anyways. It's dude. a near rhyme, Dan. All yeah, right. it's a near rhyme. That's fuck? like a near beer, dude. It don't count, <laughs> bro. You ever listen to Lil Wayne? Yeah, or any rap? He stretches the possibility of language. Yeah, that's right, dude. He's a fucking genius. Rhyme lasagna once. Lasagna, perfectly. Put on ya. Near rhyme. No lasagna. Put on ya. I don't. I didn't mean to get in the middle of this, dude. I don't want to argue. It's put either. on you, Dan. You, I, you put on you. I would say pajamas. Pajama. Lasagna. Put lasagna. I say pajama. 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 Pajamas. Pajamia. You say pajama. Pajamas. Yeah, I would say. I pajamas. do too. Yeah, I guess I don't say pajama pajamas. 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 Y'all hit it with a caramel or a caramel. <laughs> that dude. I, it's weird. I like I've caramel. thought about that, and I don't know. I, I think it depends on the sentence. Yeah, totally. I think so too, and my mood. Yeah, if I'm angry, I'm hitting a mad caramel. <laughs> Give me the fucking caramels, Deborah. <laughs> caramel, caramel, caramel. I feel, man, it's so weird. To, it is tough. It just, if it's ice cream, it's got caramel. 
If it's mm. a snack candy, it's caramel. So by itself. That makes sense. Caramel corn? It's caramel. Caramel corn, yes. I don't good. think I'd say caramel corn. That's actually really true. Caramel That's... corn sounds like a soup. Yeah, caramel. <laughs> chamomile tea. Yeah. Can of corn. Chamomile. And then can I got of corn. Tea. Can of corn. <laughs> dude, this, <laughs> what is this pod, dude? That's We're going from, uh, that's, uh, isn't it Joey Diaz in uh, The Longest Yard? Oh, Joey Diaz is in that movie, yeah, isn't he? he That's crazy. He gets like fucking seen... slammed, and then he's like on the field. He's like, can of corn, can of corn. You know That's who else funny. gets slammed in that movie? Uh, Tr- Tracy, Tracy Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. That's true, yeah. Sexy ass motherfucker. He's a sexy little bitch in that sexy movie. Sexy motherfucker. You know that Prince song, Sexy Motherfucker? No. No. It's a good one, dude. <laughs> there's a part in the song where he's like, he's a sexy motherfucker. But then there's a part where there's like a dude, kind of like a rap part. It's supposed to be like hype. It was like the late 80s or early, early yeah. 90s. But there's like a group of people. And they're like, Sexy motherfucker shaking that ass, shaking that ass, shaking that ass. Mm. Michael Jackson funny. had the same thing on black or white. There's just like a random dude in the middle of it. A rap verse? Yeah, but yeah. it's just like the wackest thing. And the guy's not even a rapper. It's probably just his friend that he was trying to help put on. But it's like, nations, it's all about people. And you're like, what are we doing here? This song <laughs> was banging until now. Doesn't well, even make sense in Spanish. Well, but it's funny because that's like the pop the pop industry at that time. That was their take on like, oh, this rap thing is actually taking off. We got to do a rap song. And so they like just recruit, like the fucking Sex Pistols or whatever. They just like recruit. Yeah. A guy who is Malcolm like, oh, McLaren was the name. I was, Malcolm McLaren's the dude that put all that together. Hmm. The Sex Pistols. Yeah, uh, I was trying to think of it on the train the other day. I couldn't do it. Word. Well, damn, dude. Fucking a. Anyway, shout out Fresh Freeze Dope Boys yeah, with the Butt House song. Y'all the video, sick. dude. The video is fire too. Like it is. they killed that shit. It's like better than any fucking video I have. Also, the song has been out for two days and it has over ten thousand views, y'all more than blowing. all the Butthouse videos yeah. combined. <laughs> and y'all are blowing my fucking music videos out of the water, which is sick. Fucking beast, dude. If they speak English. We should have them on the pod. That would be awesome. I- I'm sure they do. Cool. They definitely do. The guy was communicating with me. In oh yeah, English. true. He translated right. the shit. From his language, so that's why I think it was weird. But he could obviously, I think he could probably write a rap in English, and it would make sense, right? You know right. what I mean? Well, and they listen to both of you, so they clearly right. understand English. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, there are people in Europe are smarter. Typically. Shout out to you two guys. That shit is sick, bro. It was very nice. It's better advertising than we can do on our own. Also, from that, from them doing that video, I feel like it may have driven some new traffic to the Butt House YouTube. Nice, and which led to our first ever hater comment. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. A dude, a dude commented on the last ep, and he's like, he "Oh said, crap, these guys stink." <laughs> no, he said suck. He said, "Oh crap, these guys suck," <laughs> which is hilarious. And then oh, I went, "Crap, oh crap, these guys fucking suck." <laughs> but then I went to his uh, YouTube page, and I'm gonna go to it now. We can we can judge. Yeah, let's shout out this fucking all time loser, dude. Yeah, trying to bro. talk smack on the butt. Big time gush, dude. We get petty in the butt house. Yeah, bro. So he's got nineteen subscribers, a hundred and forty one videos. He stays busy, folks. His name is Melancholic Fools, and here's his video first stream test. Check or we'll just do yeah we'll do first stream test. <laughs> Listening to Jordan Peterson. You're pointing to a whole set of syndromes that have relatively non-specific symptoms. Boring. It's like, he's like in a shed. He's like in a shed. Like he looks like he's living a terribly depressing life. So I'm sorry. For an incel, he's got no insulation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off my game, folks. Dan's on the verge of a migraine. I'm on the verge of a migraine and have a light pointed directly in my eyes. I don't eyes. even need to have the fucking audio playing, but... This guy lives in a migraine. This guy's life is a migraine. Also, yeah, look at like, this. Fuck this guy. I don't want to watch his videos. It's kind of nice, though. Is it? Look at him. Fuck. Where are the dead children? <laughs> But you know this dude is buying a motherfucking 3D printed AR-15. He's about to hit up a fucking yeah, for shopping sure. center. But yeah, he's just look at him. Oh crap! He looks like yo. He looks like the. Uh, <laughs> what are he, we doing? Yo, he looks like the Sasquatch <laughs> from the Jack Links commercials. Just know I don't respect you one bit, and you suck, crap, sir. 
Yeah, dude. Holy crap, you stink. But Stinky. obviously, we're not going to do that with all the hater comments. No. But the first one is a momentous occasion, it dude. It is. Shout out to the boys. You got to at least give him. Don't do that, Dan. <laughs> Please, someone <laughs> high five me. God damn it. Come on. It was too high. I couldn't see it. It wasn't in the camera, dude. It's I didn't too know high. what you were doing. Uh, I wanted to ask you guys, though, because you do, I don't have any fucking videos out there, but you guys both have uh, prolific YouTubes. Have you guys dealt with uh, hating comments before? Oh, yeah. I actually have not gotten a bad comment on any of my videos, which is cool, but not that there's a thousand fucking comments. Well, I'm about like, to sick the dogs on you tonight, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everybody. He's, he's gonna make a YouTube and fucking yeah, go, yeah. Leave a bunch of hater comments for the first time. What would my my name would be like? Dinosaur Phil one two three. That's my <laughs> YouTube, my Dinosaur my burner Phil. my burner YouTube. I bet you dude, this is trash. <laughs> Nate's cool. Oh crap! This guy sucks. Oh crap! This guy sucks. <laughs> uh oh man, it would. I don't want to promote anything happening but it would be funny for everyone to comment that on every one of his videos yeah they should uh, totally but melancholic Nathan, fools you said that you've dealt with uh hateful comments before tell us more about it usually my shit it's always somebody being like a bunch of corn emojis no i'm just kidding but <laughs> now nah, nah, it'll always be somebody p commenting on like a video where i'm just like rapping fast or something and they'll be like this fucking guy's not saying anything or like why don't you try making a song about something and then i'm just, and then i always just go why don't you listen to my album i have those I have <laughs> deep songs dude but i used to argue a little bit when i was younger but you can't it's a tough it's look a, to be in the comments it's a sign of weakness as the poster yeah for sure and also like people having discourse in your comment section is good that's a good sign actually now that i think i think i may have gotten one and responded to it just like shortly I'll check it out. You boys keep I talking. did hit whatever that guy's name in with a pipe down. I saw that. Yeah. I, I don't want to be rude, but I did want to be like, you stuff it, buddy. I literally went to his page earlier, and I saw the video, and I typed out of the comment, and I said, damn, dude, your life looks brutal. I'm sorry. <laughs> but then I I deleted it and said, nah, he might kill himself. But I mean, his life looks terrible. He's living in a Jeez. shed. <laughs> it's going to be funny, in a too. Fucking if, shed. I was wondering at first, though, if one of us said that, like, oh, crap, this sucks, and he's just quoting us, and now oh, we're just Oh, that being would be like, really bad. Yeah, that's why I hesitated to bring up the whole thing. Well, if that's the case, if you were being sarcastic or quoting us or something, melancholic fools, I apologize. Your life rules, dude. Your life looks sick. Your life rules, and thank you so much for listening to the butt -ass. Yes, dude. <laughs> but if you're talking shit, fucking... Get down or lay down, brother. Slurp it. No, I'm just kidding. Well, while really... Ethan uh, weeds through to find a hateful comment, Nate, you had a list of stuff to talk about. Oh, yeah. And I was excited for them. Let me see, dude. Let's fucking see what we're doing. Okay, so... There was an eclipse today, boys. And I ain't talking about a Mitsubishi, all right? I'm talking about a solar event. But, uh, yeah, there was an eclipse. We're in New York, so we didn't get it full... We didn't get the full-fledged experience. I know in Vermont, northern Vermont, they said it was like the peak place to be. Mm. I heard a dude, I was in Burlington like two weeks ago, and a guy was like, yeah, we're, we're expecting like hundreds of thousands of people coming up here. Rob is up there for that specific event. So Wait, I'm, really? Yeah. yeah, they said in Burlington they were expecting like an incra a, a crazy influx of tourism for the weekend. Huh. But... Maybe I'm just like a Debbie Downer, but I do not give a fuck about Fucking Debbie clips. Down syndrome, dude. Well, well, that too. <laughs> Little Debbie Down syndrome. <laughs> Little Debbie. Uh, uh, I oh, went wow. and saw the eclipse firsthand uh, at Herbert Von King Park down the road. I went out to get a coffee. Uh, my friend John texted me and was like, hey, man, I got some extra glasses. Are you going to be around? And luckily, Art Marrera had already gifted me a pair Art of Marrera. sunglasses. Art Marrera specifically so you can stare into the fucking sun, and I can't see anything in these except kind of the filament and the light bulb. But it was pretty cool, actually. There was a dude in the park. He's like He had, like, a fucking, like, jazz Stratocaster, and he was playing chill, little, like, King Cruelish music. And everyone was in a really weird fucking mood. There was strange vibes in the air, dude. Strange sun in the sky. But, uh, Were they it was really cool. in a weird mood, you think? Yeah, dude, like... The shit was weird. I was also in the coffee shop just being... Like, I was hungover as hell, too, but I was like, something feels weird in the streets right now. I don't know, man. It did kind of... Well, I mean, that makes sense, though, because it's like... I feel like even Mitty, the fucking cat, 
in the back of us. He started freaking out too. Yeah. And well, like when it started kind of getting dark, he was like, I, I was trying to work on my fucking taxes in my bedroom. And I just keep hearing Mitty going like, bah, bah, like running around. <laughs> and he kept jumping up and down from the top of the couch. I was like, what is he doing, dude? Yeah. And, nor- and then I brought him in my room, and normally he's excited to be in there. But then he just sat by the door and was like, bah, bah. Somebody had said that you weren't supposed to have, like, like dogs outside or something like that from, like, two to four. They Probably because like, they look up and blind themselves. Yeah, it's possible. Fucking stupid mutts. I feel like animals know better than to look into Who the sun, Who says though. that, though? An- animals sure animals, sure animals get hit by cars, dude. Deer look at lights, <laughs> uh, headlights, right. and fucking run towards it. <laughs> Name one other animal that does that. Cats. Still, though, I don't know if a dog would look up at the sun. Yeah. I don't think that they would. I, and Because they don't know it's you a guys fucking are crazy. eclipse. They're fucking seeing it's dark. They're just going to look up. Dark, dogs are always looking up, dude. Dogs not, do nothing dog's but not look gonna up. Dogs are going to stare at the sun. It hurts your eyes. Neither do humans, but we're all out there doing it. <clears throat> I know, but that's because we know we're like, oh, solar eclipse. So I better get out and look at it. I don't know, man. A dog doesn't know what the fuck's going on. They're just like, oh, it's getting dark early Think today. of it this way. People get weird and animals get weird on a full moon, right? A full moon just eclipses the sun. Well, but a full moon turns people into dogs. Werewolves. Werewolves. Yeah, I don't even know where I was going with Are this. those real? Werewolves? No. Wolves are. <laughs> are those real? Dude, my mom. Have you ever seen one? I was like arguing with my mom about Bigfoot the other day. <laughs> she's like, because she always watches that show Finding Bigfoot. Yeah. And I'm like, Mom, you watch this fucking dumbass. I was like, this show is so stupid. Why are you even watching this? They're, gonna, they're never going to find him. She's like, Bigfoot is fucking real, you queer. No, she didn't <laughs> say that. But she said, she's like, he's real. And then she's like, you know what? I think Bigfoot. I think there's a bunch of Bigfoots. Big and feet? Like, and I think that they're aliens, and they can they have the power to disappear and appear. And I was like... She's and, fucking with And she was right? like, and I think they can multiply at will. Oh, my God. She was serious, bro. Well, anything that can she was, have sex she can was multiply kind of, We were laughing will. about it, but yeah, that's what I said. I, I was like, dude, mom, humans dude. multiply at will, too. Your but, mom is hilarious. Bro, she's a nutty chick. But, <laughs> <laughs> but she, I'm pretty sure... She was like... A percentage of it was joking, but she definitely meant it too. And and she would like maybe the multiply at will and the disappear and reappear and alien shit. She would that there was a bit of humor to that, but she was mildly serious. But when I'm saying I'm fucking with her, because I'm not gonna say Bigfoot's not real. Bigfoot, Bigfoot. I'm not gonna say he's definitely not real, but probably, right? It's like out of mammals. I think we've discovered all like the mam- land mammals that there are to yeah. be discovered. Maybe fucking insects and like deep sea life. There's still shit that we don't know about. But like, I mean, there's also weird shit that I'm sure people would mistake. Like, you, dude, bears can walk on their fucking back legs. Like, some somebody saw fucking brown bears walking like a w- human. Right. And was just like, oh, it was a gorilla man. Right. It's well, and like, also well, all the vi- all the footage. My mom's like, that's. The- a million videos of Bigfoot and pictures. <laughs> and then she pulls up, obviously, the picture, the classic picture where he's, like, walking sideways, you know? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, that's just a dude in a suit, right? It's like, I mean, maybe not. Maybe it's real. I don't fucking know. I don't care enough to look into it. But but it's like, that's not like it would be hard to fake. You just put on a hairy suit and just walk and be like, hey, Dale, take a picture of me. Do you guys believe in chupacabras? I get. What's a chupacabra? It's like a magical dog. No. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like a, a bat. It's like a dog. bat dog. He does card tricks. I Isn't do it? think it's like a, a nighttime Hispanic animal. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It hangs out in the it's home. It's basically like a uh, a Mexican naked wolf dog. Right. That's kind of like it's a rat. Small though, right? Yeah, it's like a rat wolf and dog. It, it naked like wolf dog kills. Uh, Is it naked or is it hairy? It's hairless. I would imagine Spooky. it looks like those weird cats. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Also, I wanted to say this. When you look back in the sand and there was only one set of footprints, it's because Bigfoot carried you. That's right, brother. Thank you. <laughs> Not you. worth it, but I fucking had it in my head for <laughs> two minutes, and I was like, I'm going to get it in there. What's the 50 Cent? 50 Cent's got the song about that poem, the Jesus poem, the God oh, poem. Oh, I don't know. Is it Many Men? He's like, there was two <laughs> sets of footprints in the sand. 
He's like, some God don't walk with me. He carry me, man. He's got like a Christian rap song. Many Damn, men could sick. be about Jesus. So many men wanted to kill him. True. Judas, you piece of shit. Wish death on me. Pontius but Pilate. I don't care. Fucking know. jerk. I'm not on Sent my cross God to die. Anymore. Have mercy on me. Put me inside well, the cave three days. I'm going to raise so I myself found, from the dead. I did lie earlier. I forgot about this comment. I shoved it down deep into my body. Of my mind The mind of my body uh, This dude on YouTube On my video um, The 80 bar challenge From the fucking red man thing The only challenge I've ever done Because I'm not really with that I should probably Coolest do shit guy. more like that but He's above it I'm not above it I just prefer to make my own beats And rap on them And not have it be a challenge Because it's not a challenge for me to rap yeah, Hip hop's not competitive dude It's not a best. competitive thing so this guy at Helvet says, uh, two years ago, why'd you go for the Tom Selleck pissed on an electric fence and let himself go in recovery look? How would you let yourself go in recovery? When you yeah. let yourself go first and then you have to go to recovery? And so I was pretty hurt by that because I think I actually looked decent in that video. I'm like pretty clean shaven. I had You felt handsome. I didn't have I felt <laughs> decent, dude. You know, I didn't think I looked like total shit. <laughs> And <laughs> I just responded, I'm not hurt. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great response, though. And uh, he never responded. No, because he's hurt. Being like, oh, I couldn't penetrate fuck. his mental armor. Yeah, He's too strong. He said nothing about the skills of my rap, though. He just said, why'd you go for your on drugs look? And I was like, damn, dog, that's pretty terrible thing to say to someone i'm like what if i was in recovery people commenting like shitty. on your looks is terrible <laughs> but we did we went to joey rose's uh over the weekend i think it was the weekend right yeah saturday and there was a comic there that we'd met at this show called dork court and he's like a chubbier fella nice guy though but someone accused him of looking like he was melting <laughs> <laughs> and i was just thing. like oh my god i'm so glad that wasn't said about me <laughs> because i would think about that the rest of my life well, and it's kind of extra bad because the he came up and spoke to you yeah to tell you what did he say uh, he said I was handsome and him and his boys were <laughs> wondering if i got my looks from my mom which, Which threw me for a odd. fucking loop, dude. Pretty odd. Also, shout out Sharon Gilbert. She's a, ha a handsome, handsome woman. woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's a great woman. Is she hot? I don't know about all that. Damn, but so I don't actually remember the consensus. Do you get your looks from your mom or is it your papa? I don't know. I don't really think I look like anyone in my family. Mm. Wow, dude. You're just better than that. I mom. wondered if I was adopted for quite some time. You do look Italian, and you said you're not. People do think I'm Italian. I'm French and Irish, which doesn't really add up. Fryrish. 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 I think I'm similar. That's what happens when you break out from eating too many fries. Fry I think I'm Fryrish. Uh, Portuguese and. Uh, Portuguese. A little bit of uh, Portuguese breakfast. What the hell is that? Possibly, <laughs> I'm trying to think of places you can be from. <laughs> nice. What difficult? State your ethnicities now. Well, I was trying not to be rude too. Or uh, you from Why Zambia? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say Nigerian, but I'm like, am I allowed to say that I'm Nigerian? You can be white and from Nigeria. Yeah. You can be white and from yeah. South Africa. Is that where Nigeria true, is? Yeah. Africa? Well, look at uh, the Antwerp. Look at Elon Musk, dude. Bro, diamond mine, baby. Let me see. I thought he was just uh, autistic. Wow, from, Ethan. Not I think everyone he's, from... I think Elon <laughs> Musk is an alien and he can reproduce at will and disappear yeah. and reappear. He named his kid like a series of numbers, right? Yeah, Xenon yeah. 21st century, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Zoe wow. 101. So, yeah, he named his daughter Zoe 101. <laughs> No, it is like XX Glorp 672 or something like that. <laughs> Glorp, Glorp, Glorp 9. <laughs> Glorpus. Glorp 9, 9. Sector 17, Glorpus. Doingus Glorpius. Her name is just a password at that point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Bill Cosby 93. A Wi Fi password. Um, fucking I'm high password, dude. I'm trying to think of, like, to my face, the rudest thing that's ever been said to me. I can't think of the rudest thing that's ever been said to me necessarily, but I can think of the rudest thing that's been done to me. Ooh, hit us with and it that's because on my thanks, brain is not working. Thanksgiving, I went to go hang out with my older stepbrother and his cousins. All went out to smoke weed. They like, took a walk, 
and I like wanted to be with the boys. So I was like, hey guys, and I like ran and caught up with them down the road. And they just grabbed, one of them grabbed my arms and one grabbed my legs and they just swung me into a sharp bush and then walked away. <laughs> <laughs> With no words? Yeah, Fucking no, they awesome. just like grabbed me and like, get him in the bush and just chucked me in the bush and then Damn. kept walking. And then I ran back to my house like, <laughs> and I ran it through the, through the family party into my room and just went in the closet and just, Bleh. And my stepsister came in and was like, what the fuck did he do? I was like, they threw me in the fucking bush. <laughs> and then she went and yelled at my stepbrother. Damn, it was nice. Dude. That was a good bonding moment. I me have me a brother rude Kim. moment, too, now that you say that. I was skateboarding in the garage when I was like 11 or something. And my brother was with his friend, so he's just showing out, of course. But he's like, do a kickflip. And I was like, I can't. And my brother uh, like had to have his hips replaced. He's got like crazy bone diseases and shit. Damn. So he like doesn't walk well. And he looked at me and was like, well, I mean, I'm not meant to walk. Maybe you're just not meant to skateboard. <laughs> and I was just like, burn. Ouch, dude. In front of your fat friend who's now laughing at me. You should have just <laughs> fucking kicked him in the hip. <laughs> yeah. The sidekick. Beast. I don't know why, but that it didn't sound as bad uh, coming out as it did in my head, but it really hurt my feelings. No, yeah, as a that's young brutal boy. to hear as a kid. To hear your brother be like, "Maybe you should stop doing this thing you love. You're not yeah. good at it." I mean, I also one of my first like real skateboards I got. I got that zero board that says "School Sucks" on it. That's like pink and black. Mm. Punk, and uh, dude, yeah, I was punk as hell. And all my my stepbrother's friends, they're like, "Why'd you get a fucking girl skateboard?" What are you gay? <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's for girls. It's fucking pink, you queer. Dude, I and remember. And I'm like, in, I'm like, ten, eleven years old. Just like, shut up. You don't understand. I listen to uh, the Ramones and Fallout Boy. <laughs> I'm confused. The Ramones are sick. When don't I, read my notebooks. <laughs> when I was in, uh, I was in sixth grade, right, and um, everyone was like getting DCs and shit like that. Needed a new pair of shoes. Bam Hardograms. Oh, dude! I definitely had the Bam Hard. Oh, I was I was sure. just wondering if I was gonna guess exactly what you were gonna say, but okay, continue. No, but um, well, I did have the black Bam Hardograms with the one pink, or yep. it was purple. One purple Hardogram near the heel. That was the one with the bubble, the air bubbles in it. Um, no, there there weren't air bubbles in those ones. They were pretty like basic, just skate. Because I got but... ones that were basic like that too, but they were. Definitely pink. Though. Yeah. But Nate Martin had the air bubble ones that were sick. And yeah. But, that, those, but hit those the harder gram on those was purple, I remember. Yeah. But mine was pink, and I did one pink lace, one black lace, obviously, dude. Nice, dude. So punk as shit. So fucking punk, dude. No, I got, the, uh, I got the DC, just like big fatty heel logo ones, but they had, I swear they were not in the women's section, <laughs> but I went with my neighbor, Trevor, and he was like... <laughs> he was like in his twenties or something, and my dad would hang out and like drink beers with him. And again, Wait, I was what? in sixth grade. Your dad's drinking beers with a sixth grader? No, no he was his in friend his twenties. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. It was my neighbor. Yeah. So he, he was like an adult. Okay. Obviously, he, Ethan's but. like some spicy mustard. Dan's playing catch up. Yeah, dog. Listen up, Dan. Are Listen you okay? Here. My head hurts. I'm. I'm. Doing it. I'm gumming. <laughs> I'm gumming, dude. <laughs> I'm about to suck I'm everyone's gumming, dick. Bro. Shut up, dude. <laughs> I'm so here. I'm Dan's sorry. hurting, dude. He's I'm a trooper. Sorry. Dan's got a migraine. We got it. It's fine. Trevor, the twenty-something-year-old neighbor, was like, he was a cool fucking guy, and he listened to like Fifty Cent and shit like that. And Sick. I was like, just getting into fucking rap on my own. Like, my my iPod was decked out with dope rap shit. So I was trying to get a little more, a uh, little more gangster, a little more pimp. Aye, aye. So they had these fucking pimp DCs, trick, and trick. on the logo. It had like crosshatch stitching, and there was like little jewels in where all the like cross stitches met. Those are girl shoes. Yes, <laughs> and I did not realize those. I was like, "Oh, these are like pimp, like cool bling shoes." Oh, wow. And so I went to school with them, and everyone was like, "The fuck, dude!" They were like, "You're wearing fucking girl shoes. What the hell?" And I remember <laughs> being so mad at him because I was like, "Dude, you told me those were cool." What Bruh. the hell, man? Like, I just got picked on What did school. he say? Was he, was he like, yeah, I got gotcha. you? Or was he like, dude, they are. No, no. He was like, no, dude, those are cool. They're like fucking pimp. He's like, what are you talking about? Don't let them do you like that. But then, You're you like, know. come with me to school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Parent teacher day Defend was different. Defend my honor. Yeah. Please. He was not my Damn, that's guardian. brutal, bro. You got girls too? Motherfucker, yeah, that's man. crazy. 
The cool ultimate though. prank is making people get women's clothing. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. That's like, like the time I went to school in a tube top, and I thought yeah. it was cool. Well, everyone's wearing was, crop tops now. I thought it was a muscle shirt, but... Nah, Football dudes that do real? cut the belly no, off no, their shit. shirt. Yeah. Football. There was a time when I uh, I went to school with... um. Oh, wait. Fuck. What was I going to say? <laughs> shit, I forgot. <laughs> Sounds fuck. like you didn't go to school that long. Yeah, doinked. You know, I fucking doinked out, dude. I was. I did used to be so blinged out in school, though. I used to be fucking G'd up from the feet up. I'd, I'd like, had fake chains that I got from, like, Cornish Fair and shit. Yeah, you had, like, a spin spinner one, right? I had a G-unit spinner. I had all the fucking duds, dude. And I would wear out. I would. I was a dud. And I'd wear that shit to school. You were showing out, dude. I was showing out, bro. Show, show and tell. Show Sometimes you got show Middle school is the best time to show out. Yeah. You I got no time. issues. Mommy and daddy are buying your fucking Nikes. You got your fucking Supersonics fitted hat. It's two sizes too big. Nobody gives a <laughs> shit. Yep. You got your fucking North Face overcoat, dude. Mm. You are stunting. I had a North Ooh. Face. With the bubble goose. I, I, just, got in my knapsack. I remember showing up to school, and it was like the first time. Like, like once middle school came around, I was finally able to convince my mom to be buying me like skate shit that was like real skate shit not like her coming home from the thrift store and being like oh i got you this button up i think you might like and i'm like that sucks so i was finally rocking like dope fucking branded uh like skate gear and i just remember feeling so fucking dope dude or like getting a pair of americas and just showing up and being like y'all don't even know about this y'all don't even skate like me man. yeah it was sick and then like girls started wearing skate shoes i'm like do you skate yeah Poser. These are fucking blackout glasses. Yeah, dude. That's you what you need shit. right now. I know. That. <laughs> Just keep them yeah, on, bro. All I can see is uh, nothing. <laughs> That's good, Dan. That's what you need for your mind. This is cool. Dude. Yeah. No, it was pretty nice. I was able to stare directly into the sun for really as long as I wanted. Shout out to the sun for doing what it can and only getting bullied once every 18 months. Sometimes uh, it does the bullying, though. John, my friend who I met to yeah, see the eclipse cancer. with. He put me on to uh, this new thing. Apparently, people are sunning their balls. Yeah. It's Wait, like, is that like... just your friend wanting to pull his dick out in front of you, though? Dude, we no, should just sun our balls. balls. No, it's funny, bro. It's a prank. And he's like, I want you to sun my balls. is isn't like, ra- like rapper turn. Like, yo, I'm going to sun you. Meaning like... He also scold, actually said, I want you to touch my, my balls. balls, son. Ethan want, just heard him wrong. Yeah, yeah. I want yeah. you to touch my balls, son. I came to and I was slurping his sack. I he was, was wearing a G unit chain. I woke up and he was doing, we'll just say, the worst thing you can think of. Oh my God. I was drooling. He was dialing 1 800 collect on my mom's phone. He was dialing 1 800 slime time live. But yeah, apparently you can, uh, you know, get some good energies from the sun and it's good to vitamin sun D. your balls. Yeah, vitamin, vitamin B, it. bro. <laughs> I don't, how are you sunning your balls in New York? There's nowhere you're private. No, oh, yeah, I don't know. He's on his roof, and all his neighbors with the higher buildings are like, yikes, dude, these white people suck. Isn't that what that wiki song is about? <laughs> yeah, roof, on his roof. Rooftops? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's sunning his perineum. Yeah. I do Standing like that line, on though. on a rooftop, shun- Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm really falling apart over here, dude. Wait. Sorry, right, Dan. Standing on a rooftop, sunning my balls. Nice. What song is that? Standing on a rooftop, ready to fall. It's like oh, an emo song. Yeah. I'm outside of your window with my radio. Remember that? Hawthorne Heights? No. Never no. got into a. Uh, I never listened to it, but it was on. H. There was a commercial for it for like a ringtone or something, like all the time on MTV. Ringbacks were sick. Ringback tones. Yeah, Bro, dude. you know the song? I love the song uh, Good Day by Nappy Roots. You know, I'm going to have a good day. Mm-hmm. And no I'm going to ride today. We opened for once. Yeah. What? One of our first yeah. shows. I didn't know that. Our yeah. first show ever in Burlington, Vermont. Was with Nappy Roots? But yep. you know what? Damn. Although we successfully opened for them, I had X's on my hands. I was underage at the time. These guys were all 21 freshly. I was like, I must have been 19 or something. Or maybe I was 20 and you guys were like 22. Either way, I was underage. I, after our set, went to smoke a butt. And the, this was a uh, Zen lounge in Burlington, Vermont. Doesn't exist anymore. Does not exist anymore. Got murdered out front of it and then yeah. it went out of business. There was like Somebody a shooting murdered. within the year that we fucking played Well, the guy got killed out, got shot out front and then it changed the name to Club Special and then it went out of business. Not so special. I did one really. show at Club Special. Does not surprise me. Terrible name for a club. 
But so, yeah, we opened for Nappy Roots and I never ended up getting to see them because I went out to smoke a cigarette. The entrance to Zen Lounge was like there was a, a fucking door guy at the bottom, then a big staircase up and a door guy at the top of the stairs as well. And I talked to the guy at the top of the stairs and I was like, yo, I'm just going to go smoke a cigarette. I just played like, yes, I have X's on my hands, but I will be right out front in your view. And then I'm smoking a cigarette and I go to get back in and the dude is like, for whatever fucking reason, the dude was like, no, you can't come back in. And I was like, dude, you literally, I have the fucking wristband. I have X's on my hands. I just played on your fucking stage. And that guy right at the top of the stairs that you can see and I'm signaling to and he's looking at me told me it was cool. Would you just talk to him? And he was just like, no, you can't. I was like, no. He's like, no, dude, we're not doing that. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, we just opened for Nappy Roots. I want to see Nappy Roots. Like, I'm here for that. And it was a no-go. Yeah, that's some bullshit, dude. I had to call you guys and be like, well, I'm outside just sitting here in the fucking cold. They won't let me in. And yeah, fuck that guy. He can fucking sun his balls somewhere else, dude. They told you no room at the end, Virgin That show, wasn't that the one where when we first got out of the car? There was a guy standing on the sidewalk, and he was like a bum, like dude, like drug dude. And he was like, he's like, yo, he's, he's a, he was a honky, mind you. And he's like, he's like, yo, man, he's like, this town is fucking faggot. He kept saying that, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. he's like, ain't nobody shooting each other, nobody stabbing each other. This, and we're like walking by him, and he's just yo. staring at us, going like, this town is faggot. And we're just like, uh, like nervous little kid, <laughs> like. Sorry, sir. We're like, well, we're about to open for Nappy Roots if you'd like to come watch our four-person <laughs> white boy rap group. We're about to open Sorry, for Nappy Roots. Sir. I forgot my gun. I'll be right back. If you think I'm gay, tell that to the fucking three-person boy band I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> um, Wait till you see us dance. It's crazy when, uh, was he a homeless fella? I don't know if he had... I don't know his living... I didn't ask his living situation, but... Shout out to the homeless for making everybody uncomfortable. He was Uh, on the streets, dude. He definitely didn't invite us over for dinner. Can I see the queer of you, dude? Yeah. Nate and I... Dude, I'm just going to own this migraine. I've decided. I'm done. I'm done kneeling down to the pain in my head. Run this shit, down. Suck my dick, dude. Take a big-ass swig of this. All right. Um, No, it'll definitely hurt it. Also... You said you've had three excedrin migraines today. Yeah. I don't think you should necessarily drink when you take those. Shut up. What are you, like, (laughs) girlfriend? Ah, fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shut up. I got a good girlfriend, and I love her so much. She is the light of my life, and I'm going to continue. No. Fuck. I don't get bear trapped in this fucking freestyle. I have a girlfriend that I love. She fits me like OJ to the glove. Find me guilty. That's not fair. Don't give a fuck if you brush your hair because you look so good. You look so fine. I ain't. Thank God every day that you're mine And if you ever leave me I will leave a bloody scene I kill you Just kidding, girl You're the number one in the whole wide world Couldn't live without ya But don't test me, I'll doubt ya We'll find another man who's good as me Mm. Go ahead and watch Glee I don't give a fuck, I'll watch JP Jurassic Park in the other room Passing it um, off, um, Ethan's go boom. Um, 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 um. Bow, wow, wow, wow. That was a terrible. Yo, you killed it, Dan. I don't Ooh. know about that. You just cranked that if you way say up. I got so loud. That I killed that, that makes me second guess everything you guys have Dan, said about comedy. Dan, you mother- Yo, you said JP, Jurassic <laughs> Park. JP. I was like really that. just focused on my bait. Ow, ow, ow. I was trying to remember that Herbie Hancock song. What chameleon? How's it go? I can dig it, she can dig oh, it, we can oh, dig it, they can oh, dig it, we can dig it. Oh, oh let's oh, dig oh. it. Can you dig oh, oh, it, baby? Oh. How's it go? Pull me up, son. Look at my wrist action. Sorry to the fans oh. if I've been a fucking nuisance, Nancy. Dan, you suck today. Dude. I know, dude. No, Dan's been great. No, I felt bro. fine the first three hours I was here that we didn't start recording when I was in the window of the eye of the storm, dude. I shouldn't have put my sock up on the camera because I'm pretty sure someone said that I need to 
like once the Patreon hits off, I'll be able to afford some <laughs> new socks. I was like, damn, dude, what a diss. Hey, How also, bad are they? Let me this say. is a pillow, everyone. Not it's not too bad. Fit, fit them yeah. up. Who's our worst? Well, you have Yours pretty new ones, dude. Mine were white when I bought them. <laughs> you can't compare No, Dan's are just see-through. He had frostbite once really bad. Oh, yeah, this is my black foot. <laughs> <laughs> my jumper <laughs> improved. Yeah, dude. What an embarrassing moment for Call me. Back. But... Uh, the one thing you didn't explain about the Joey Rosa's situation is that <laughs> you fucking murdered your set, dude, and oh, yeah. at a fucking so, city winery. Let me say, because Dan doesn't want to talk about himself, probably, right? But so here, <laughs> I never said shit, dude. <laughs> Saturday night was it Saturday? It was Saturday night. Uh, Leah Rudick, very funny comedian, very very funny and very nice. Uh, she always helps me out and puts me up. She had a show at City Winery. She sold out. She sold out. Sold out. She sold out two shows and let me do a guest spot on the second one. I got there. She got me all free wine and free food and was like, "Do fifteen minutes." And I was just like, "Fuck yes!" And so you were, yeah, you were she expecting was very five, funny. right? I went there expecting to get a five minute set. Yeah. And you said I asked you. I'm like, wait. So I, I was like, you're featuring, right? And you're like, no. I think there's like two other acts, but it was just the host, then Dan. Than the headliner. So you were the feature, Dan. And Dan, and killed. Dan killed it. And Leah Rudick was very funny, too. I, you know, me being a sexist guy. He hates girls. He doesn't nah, believe but it in is them. Far, it is like, you know, you go to see a female stand-up comedian, and he's like, yeah, fuck, guys. Like, my pussy's huge. And I'm just like, all right, okay. But, well, and all, it's also a lot of times the vo- like a female comedian's voice. The first chick, her voice was chip what are we the paint. Doing? What are we doing? Bro, <laughs> what are honesty, we doing? Dan. Hate? I know that, but I don't want to talk shit on anybody. You know, it's a very nice hating. night. Did you? Did she? Uh, do you think she's on the on the pod? Do you think she's subscribed to the YouTube, Dan? Uh, no, no. I'm not dropping names, dude. The first girl was whatever. Her voice was so high pitched, but then Leah Rudick was awesome. She was great. I really enjoyed it. You know what was funny about that though is the the first girl they told her to do like twenty to twenty five, and I didn't. Like realize that like she's as neurotic as I am because I went over my time. I did like past fifteen, and then mm-hmm. when I got back and saw the recording, I was like, "Fuck!" Like I went over. How much you do? Uh, like seventeen, and she was just like, "Oh no, it's not a big deal." And I was like, "Nice." She was like, "I thought I went under." They told me to do twenty twenty five. I'm pretty sure I did like twenty ish, and I was like, "No, nah, you did 30. She was like, "What?" And I was like, "No, like in a good way. Like you did, you did well the whole time." But she was like spiraling the same mm. way that I was spiraling, thinking I went over and like disrespected this comedian that gave she me. She was up there show. for a long time. But yeah, that show what, was sick. But the late shows, boy, they love to drink and they love to fucking jabber. Bro, there were some fucking hecklers. Yo. But that, but that's the thing though. The host, the chick, the first chick, she was like not handling the hecklers. She was like encouraging it. Like the dude, there's a guy who kept talking. And she was just like, oh, and just like letting him just speak. I his didn't piece. have a you, dude talk to me. Yeah, the dude did not speak to you. He shut his fucking mouth because he, he knew what he knew, for. dude. Yeah. I think he was trying to flirt True. with the girl. He's like, my name's. He's like, my name's Bill. And she's like, huh? And she's like, well, they called me Bad Bill. And then he just kept. And then he was, goes on to be like, if the FBI is here, I'm getting out of here. Like, oh, he, he was just being routine. hella weird. I was like, what is this guy doing? He thinks it's his show. She, like, fed into it for a second, but then quickly, like, kind of, like, looked at the rest of the crowd and was like, well, anyway, like, that guy's getting too into it. Right, but she didn't ever tell him, like, shut the fuck up. But But she also, she did a funny callback, though, because she asked another gentleman's name, and he told her just one name, and she was like, you don't have any silly little acronyms before it or anything? Yeah, And then the guy started fucking... Literally, like, just blurting shit out. It's like, that's like, jumping Jimmy or up. something. Then there was that one lady to your right, Dan. It was the, the lady in the front Oh, uh, she was row. hammered. Dude, she was so fucking she terrible. she talk to me? No. Huh. Mainly she, during Leah Rudick's set, she would not shut the fuck up. She was like... She was, like, arguing <coughs> with a guy who she was with, kind of, and just being like, yeah, they ain't really. Leah gets it bad, dude. I uh, featured for her at Bananas in Jersey, and this lady stood up. She was at a table. She was, like, talking during my whole set to the point that I started going back and forth with her and, like, being mean. But when you're featuring, you're like, this isn't my crowd. Like, I can't 
right. be a complete dickhead. And Leah's a sweetheart and was just like, go after whoever you want. Like, if they're talking, I don't want them talking during my set either. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the lady during Leah's set was just like, I have a question in the middle of one of her jokes. And she was just like, okay, like what? She's like, she's your biggest fan. And she would love to meet you after the show. Oh, my God. And Leah was God. just like, that's not a question, but like, okay, uh, here we go. But yeah, she gets it fucking terrible. But yeah, as soon as I said so a joke, stupid. I altered one of my jokes to be from Jersey instead of Maine. And as soon as I mentioned Jersey, I knew I was in trouble because half the room was like, ah! <laughs> yeah. it's like, fuck New Jersey, dude. And... uh yeah, they started balking at me the whole time. I ended up having to tell one lady to shut the fuck up. And as soon as I said it in my brain, I was like, "Oh, I'm being like, no, you too aggressive." It. it was awesome. Well, I was like, "I." It, it was a like a warm when blanket. I said it. Yeah, which made me be like, "All right." So they're also on the page of like this lady's talking. Well, because I wanted that first chick to say that because there were people were just thinking it was their show. It's like you're the comedian. You have to gain control. You can't encourage this behavior. You have to be like, "Shut the fuck up." I've been in the game, well, and she has too. I'm not saying anything about that girl, but I've been in the game long enough to realize, like, you can't feed into an audience. Like, if that's what yeah, your thing no. is, great. If you're going to do crowd work the whole time, sick. That's your thing. But, yeah. but as an opener, you're fucking the show up, dude. Yeah, especially because people after the show were like, you should have rolled with the crowd more. And it's like, I'm right before the headliner that you paid to see. In right. no way am I going to make the audience think they can yell out the whole right. time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I told a joke that, like it didn't go that well and out loud i was like fuck that joke didn't work the lady in the audience went next yeah and that's when i was just like next shut the fuck up yeah i love it that you stanced up so hard and she was like (laughs) below you and like especially the way that it was all the seating was and it's like a nice wine bar everyone in there was wearing a fucking six hundred dollar button up and like fucking nice knit sweaters that place and was stuff. expensive as hell dude yeah dude the cheapest beer was eleven dollars me and nate were the only dudes in there in fucking t-shirts and like <laughs> drinking beers everyone Literally. else was like Ooh, I'm in i also Chelsea, felt Manhattan. underdressed <laughs> just wearing a fucking uh nate Graphic t-shirt yeah, yeah you'd wear my shirt <laughs> but it was pretty sick because it was an intense moment because i think at that point everyone was clearly kind of annoyed by all the heckling and like just outburst yeah idiots and you're like standing right above this fucking woman okay nobody Don't really heard what the fuck like she guys. said yeah you were looking and down like, on her <laughs> threatening you were almost menacing dan dude it was sick though i liked and that then a when lot. you pulled your penis out and slapped her on the head with it that, that was, was cool. really really weird you but, better call the cops because right. i'll do it again yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah and then i had that one broad from new jersey i have a joke that's about braille on uh buttons for a vending machine and she was joke. i Opened it with that, and she was just like, I'm blind. It's just like... Yo, and you were like, I wish you were mute. It was yeah, so quick. Was I was so like, good. yes. But it's just like, what do you get out of yelling, I'm blind? Like, what are you doing? That girl came up to me at the end of the show, too, and was like, I'm the girl from Jersey you're arguing with. And I was just like, oh, shit, you yelled out a lot. And she was just like, sorry about it. Sorry about <laughs> it's just like, right. Well, so the thing is, though, because so Leah Rudick's a great stand up comedian. Yeah. You know, she did stand up before her fame, right, Daniel? Mm-hmm. But she blew up on TikTok. Yep. So I think a lot of the people in the audience are not necessarily stand up people, they're TikTok people. So they don't know how the fuck to be in a stand up. Because there's, yeah. there's etiquette, there's a way that you have to act in a stand up scenario. And it's like some people just don't get it. Well, the problem is, too, and this has been like, this is beating a dead horse at this point. And I don't even know if any of this is funny as much as factual. But so many comics, you 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 have to post footage, but you don't want to burn material because you're touring or doing shows with this material. You don't want people to go into it knowing the joke. So everybody posts crowd work clips. So now the crowd thinks that like they're a part of the show and that they're like almost doing you a favor. Like every stand-up show, I'm supposed to tell them my job. Yeah. They're almost doing you a favor by yelling out because you might be able to riff with them and that'll get you fucking material and you'll blow up off that. But I do think that has been the detriment of stand-up recently because obviously heckling has been around forever. That's why the word exists. But that being said, I feel like there's an influx in the past two or three years where every crowd member thinks that they are a part of the show. I'm going to yeah. make it on Stavros Halkius' Instagram page. <laughs> but also, yeah, great. You're at Stavros' show. You're seeing Dan Gilbert, who you've never fucking heard of before and will never remember, but you think you're doing me a favor by yelling out, I'm blind. <laughs> just like, shut the fuck up. But you dude. had a quick takedown. That was good. I liked it. 
I'm on my haunches. I like that, bro. I'm fucking on my heels. I wish you were dude. mute. I was like, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, I was dude. like, damn. If you're a murder. woman and you come at me, dude. Rip her head off, Dan. Call me Sweeney Todd. Yeah, you basically slapped her in the face and her head spun around, metaphorically. That's right, dude. I did wonder. Uh, I have a joke about like erectile dysfunction, and I point at a dude. And that dude was just like... What the fuck? <laughs> My like, dude, oh, he moves the table. He's got a boner. <laughs> Look, the proof is in the pudding, buddy. That crowd was so weird, though, because jokes that like always hit did not really hit. And then like setups or like almost filler jokes were hitting. Because right afterwards, I said that. I was like, nah, never mind, you guys. This guy's got a hog and he fucking rips it. Nothing. And I was just like, shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shouldn't have said that. Shit. Dude. They were yeah. like, they're like such a square crowd. They're like, what's a hog? Well, also, what? He's got a prize pig? Shout out City Winery because that show was sold out and I didn't even know if I could get you guys in. And whatever the, a certain person that was working there was just like, no, we can get your boys in. You guys got in uh, and that was very nice. The two scrubbiest dudes in there got in for free. Oh, and then on the train ride home, that couple was just like, hey, you guys were all just at the show. It was Mm -hmm. like, damn, that's sick. Well, that guy, that man was the one who walked in behind me and they... And it's like, it was kind of annoying because it wasn't true, but he walks up behind us and is like, immediately after going by the ticket girl, he's like, excuse me, excuse yeah. me, guys. He's like, did you guys just sneak in? <laughs> but he was like hyped on it. He's like, I, I just, and we were like, no, 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 our friend's performing tonight takes me back and he was just like oh i was just gonna say that i think that's awesome man because that's something i would have done when i was younger but in my head i wanted to be like so you were about to like fucking yell it out like we're right. five feet if we past did, the yeah. ticket lady. fucking like, narc what the dude. wrong with you <laughs> no smarts dude you fucking nerd <sighs> you fucking nerdy ass bastard but yeah so then after that we uh went to the goddamn joey roses that shit was awesome so what's up to Joe DeRosa? He was there. That was fucking amazing, incredible, cool, very fun. Two weeks, two Joe DeRosa signings. That's right. Twice bro. that he didn't want to talk to me. <laughs> <sighs> well, he was admittedly drunk. but yeah. No, uh, we all were. And also, if I was Actual. a famous comedian, the last thing I would want to do is talk to some fledgling comic, which is why I try not to interact with him. Right. I ch- I'm trying to, like, bring Dan in. I'm like, Dan, I appreciate stand it up every tonight. time. I appreciate it every time, but it's like, it'd be, yeah. It'd be like if... Uh, That's like if I'm a fan of a stand-up comedian or yeah. something, or we're friends with a stand-up comedian, and he's like, this is my friend who's a rapper. Talk to him about rap. Yeah, exactly. It's like okay, You'd be like, up, ah, just like, I'm trying to hang out with the guy I came here to hang out with. Right. Not necessarily this fucking jamoke. But still, dude. Oh, Facial recognition, Dan. You just yes. Keep- I want to put this on the pod, though, uh, now that I'm remembering it. So here's the deal. Uh, Bam! So loud. Like two years ago, I fucking got super depressed, did not move, gained like 70 pounds. Went from like 200 to 270. Now I'm back to like 250. Easy. What I propose doing, I need to lose at least 30 pounds. What I propose doing is a weight loss challenge on Aww. the pod. I'll weigh myself on the pod every week. And if I'm not going down, if it goes plus, I will have to do, I'll do a set every week, but I'll have to do a joke that one of you writes. No matter what oh, the concept, oh, no matter what, no like shit. crazy, crazy shit. Yeah. But like, I will do a joke in the What's middle the of my set. What's the deal with lesbians? <laughs> it could just be a setup. It could be a premise. But well, actually, maybe I won't even put any parameters on it because that'll make me be like, I can't fucking say that. Well, I'm going to make you do my joke where, with the my girl's been fucking with me, man. That's fine. It, That's it, well, easy the joke. funniest thing too is it won't fit in my set at all. People yeah. will be like, "What the fuck just was randomly. that?" But you got to do full, like full. Like, I'll sell it. I'll sell it. Like, I'm not just going to be like, "Sorry, my friend wrote that." But you got to do full, like cartoonishly, like 1980s pimp black voice. Like, man, my girl been fucking with me, man. I'm Shit, on the man. verge of being canceled by <laughs> by gaining a pound. But uh, <laughs> but uh, that's incentive, brother. Lo- that's get it all. Off. Well, if <laughs> that's not a good enough, if that's, that's not a good enough job, uh, turkey. If that's not a good enough punishment, then maybe the the fans. I meant to bring this up so Big much punishment, earlier. Dude. Big punishment, little Italy. Little Italy. <laughs> no, he went to little Italy and they fucking Alfredo and 
Sicily. Gained a pound and then ruined his careerly. <laughs> careerly. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking about that. It would be a good incentive for me. My belly is showing now on the pod. Let me Top it out, this Dan. Down. Show him. No, fuck you. Well, we but, need, uh, Dan, if we're going to really do this, we need before picks. You ain't taking fucking pictures of me. You'll I read want it on before a scale. picks. Suck I want dick. the front pick and the side <laughs> pick. No, you ain't taking a profile picture yeah, Dan. of me. Absolutely not. Before and after picks. No. Or, or it didn't happen. Beef or and after. Beef or. Beef or. I've been a beef whore. You know <laughs> right. how many fucking pizzas I've eaten in bed, <laughs> crying at the sunset? You uh, eat beef no. pizzas? Here's what we're doing. Yeah, dude, I'm fucking all about beef pizza. Just cheeseburger pizza. <laughs> Excuse me, can you com- please combine two foods that I love? Please, right, please put extra butter. Um, extra butter, please. Do y'all have a scale here? No, okay. I don't own a scale. So starting next week. I got a scale, but it only weighs grams. Hey. <laughs> it only weighs my grandmother? So uh, <laughs> I will, Nana, I will bring... <laughs> I will bring a scale next week. We'll start it off. Is that a good enough punishment, though? Or uh, sh- uh, the fans? Yeah, we're, I'm going to make the dumbest say. joke ever. The people watching this, uh, if you don't like that, name what the punishment but, should be. But here's the thing, too. Spam is the I'm comments be, with the punishment. I got a bunk foot. I'm going to be lifting weights. So eventually I'm going to like top out at like muscle over fat, but I got plenty of fat to lose. Don't get me wrong. Oh, here's a better punishment. You don't lose the weight. You give me top. Oh, my God. I <laughs> got to suck a out. dick for every pound? Damn it. <laughs> you got to come back next week. I'm 30 pounds heavier. Just like, I don't know what happened, guys. <laughs> Punishment <Whoops>. time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I fuck. hate doing this so yeah, much. Right. I'm, I don't know what I'll do, but I'm with you on the challenge. I'll also weigh myself weekly. Oh. And I would like to lose. And Nate has to gain weight. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to say, you need to gain at least 10 pounds. I need to lose well, 10 have to pounds find a cure and turn for it into AIDS muscle. Before I do that, dude. <laughs> yeah, true. They did. Oh. In the 80s. It's that one drug. <laughs> Money? <laughs> that's, 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 that's that South Park episode, yeah, remember? That's crazy. But, uh,. No, nah, dude, I can't gain weight. I I eat whatever I want, and I don't gain weight. That's like I feel so bad for Dan. We're out, and I'm like, "You want to get pizza?" And he's like, "Well, I'm trying not to eat carbs." I'm like, "Damn, that sucks, dude." Yeah, but meanwhile, at fucking 1 a.m. last night, I'm getting a Philly cheesesteak sub on the fucking <laughs> Uber home because I was too lazy to walk home. Well, Dan, you know you were good at one point in the day. That's it means something, dude. Yeah. I, I did not eat yesterday. I just drank mad be- beers at the fucking garden. God, this sucks. How, where are we at, dude? It's I need time I to need go. to start one and one. So much. 101. Oh, I need wow. to Zoe 101, my I favorite to, show to jerk off to. <laughs> it's gonna nice. take some time to, to hang out with Schneid. Over your shoulder, you, you know, know that, that I told you I'd always be picking you up when you're down. Just turn around. God, what God, house God. is the best? Last 30 minutes, My run was gold. Better. First 20 minutes, rough. rough. Thank you for being here. Thank you for trudging the trenches. We'll never go to Italy again. I love you so much. Dude, also shout Dude. out, shout out, uh, what is it? Fresh, ah, fuck, what is it Fresh called? Fit Boys, Fresh Combo Boys. Fuck me. Son of a bitch bastard. Edit Shit. this out. Hold on. I'm not editing anything extra, sports dude. Sports house. Sports house. Just Jason so you guys White. Know. Jason White, my motherfucking dog. Shout out to the motherfucking Polish ass rap group. My dogs. Fresh, Fresh Freeze. Breeze. Fresh Breeze Dope, Dope Boys. Boys. With the track Butt House. I'm about to play us out with that shit. I'm going to edit the Butt House track in. So, shout out Fresh Breeze Dope Boys. Representing the Butt House. Get on the goddamn Patreon if you ain't there yet. And, uh, you know, find... Actually, let me shout out the other dude's Instagram, too. What's his? You got, Bardzo. You got his, right? Is it Bardzo? Bardzo. So, follow the one dude at Tritsus. T-R-I-T-S-U-S. And then the other dude, Bardzo. Let me just make sure that it's right, because I, I want to give him doing? a proper shout out, dude. Oh, starting next week, we should uh, shout out each Patreon member, too. it would take 30 True, seconds, yes. and we're very grateful for each and every one of them. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the other dude to follow is at, at W-I-K-T-O-R underscore 5000. Victor. Victor. At Victor 5000. So that's the rap group. Follow those boys, those Polish Polish butt house fanatics, dude. Follow the boys. Also, if you're in Massachusetts, please come to see me at MGM Casino in Springfield, Mass. April 19th and 20th. Woo. 
please, please, please. And if you're around Wisconsin, mid, it's like middle of Wisconsin, go to Kosher's, K-O-S-I-R, Kosher's Rapid Rafts on 420, bruh. I'll be Hell rapping. Yeah. You do that every year, right? Yeah. Nice. Not always on 420, but I've been there for the past like three years. Yeah. Smoke but. big, do that white water raft oh, and it's be on careful. 420? Watch yeah, it's on jab. 420. Fuck, I was going to say, maybe it's like, I'd go. Bro, you want to go, Dan? I can't. I got a show that night. Oh, that's the one you, you were just promoting? Yeah. Did you say 420? Yeah. Damn, bro. I'm we f- have opposing gigs. I'm so blessed. I can't remember. Choose your side. Come to Nader Eyes thing. And as always, yeah. nothing's new. <laughs> Funk. <laughs> Low Brim Ethan. Funk 95. Out now. Has been out. But check that fucking shit out. Run up my goddamn videos on YouTube. I am Nate Renmis. My album is dope as shit. I got Cool Keith on it. Jav, Pajama Sam. I produced the whole shit. And I've got fucking records, tapes, CDs, and a few more limited shirts. I made the win other if you cop some shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, please. Also, I forgot I have one other thing. I have a show in Denver on April 28th. I don't know where it is yet, but there will be more announcements about that shortly very soon hopefully the sooner the better because it's getting up there but it'll be with me honeycomb and chris carnes so if you're into honeycomb and insane beatboxer chris carnes multi uh i think multi-time dnc turntable champion multi-dimensional dude multi-dimensional uh, dude honeycomb friends with ti i mean <laughs> t-pain, t-Pain. <laughs> t-Pain. No, he, opened, out so he toured with t-pain he opened for t-pain his credit to you is his friend I mean, yeah. I guess that's what this is. <laughs> you guys are just my credit. Shout out the podcast that I'm the person you don't know on. Everybody no. fucking loves T Pain, though. I love me. T Pain sick rules, as hell, bro. He had a real comeback. He's a but, funny fella. But okay, one other thing. I just I'm gonna have to pay my taxes, oh and my I'm gonna have God. to spend like fucking ten grand at least. So please go to my website and buy some merch, jarvmakesmusic.com. And join the Patreon, because I'm paying out the ass to fucking live here, too. It's insane. Yes, Honestly, please. though, please. before you buy Jarv's <laughs> we'll merch, you, you cool should buy stuff. mine. I'm more broke, so. No, buy my shit, dude. No, buy my shit, dude. Buy mine. Go to the buy Patreon. Buy my record first. Buy my shit, then go to the Patreon. Okay. Don't get his. I don't like Just this kidding, anymore. Kidding. We sound but desperate. Anyways. I'm, I am desperate, dude. I'm rich. I'm desperate for some... Dirty my parents dirty. pay for my life. <laughs> I'm desperate until a dick pops out. Then I I'm have anxious. Yeah. <laughs> until Pickle Boy shows up in the fucking mist. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Throws a pickle in the glory hole and yeah. Ray Romano on Ray the other side, dude. Oh. Oh. Also, Ray Romano ate that too sexually, dude. He, yeah, that, he I, fucked up. What is shout wrong out Ray, Ray Romano, but that was mo- a He was look. hungry for money at that time, What's dude? wrong with you, Ray? He weren't hungry for money. He's hungry dude. for pickles. But, okay, so once again, let me just wrap it up because shout out, what the fuck is the band's name again? Fresh Breeze Dope Boys. Fresh Breeze Dope Boys. Fresh Breeze Dope Boys, and this is the motherfucking song, Butt House. Thank you Bye-bye. guys for doing this. You're nice.
butthouse, bitch.